Welcome to a new video where today we're going to be going over our advanced difficulty level of our linear inequality word problems. Make sure to subscribe before we get into it. If you're a little confused with these harder questions, make sure to check out the medium and the easier skills, uh, which will show up in a recommended box up here. Let's get started. So with these, we might have to, we might see some systems of linear inequalities which we have to solve. But, um, of course, we're still going to be looking for our keywords and key numbers, etc. So, some zoo monkeys are on a diet of fruit and nuts. Fruit has about 13.3 grams of sugar per cup and 1.36 grams of protein per cup. Nuts have about 4.04 grams of sugar per cup and 15.56 grams of protein per cup. Each monkey must get between 70 grams and 90 grams of sugar per day and at least 85 grams of protein per day, which of the following daily diet fits the monkey's needs. So we need to set up our inequalities here and then test these values for fruits and nuts in order to um, ensure that, that they match. And if they fulfill the requirements for both inequalities, it is a correct answer choice. So let's get started with these inequalities. So our protein, we, need, we know it needs to be above 85 and how we find our protein is by multiplying our the cups of nuts so how many nuts we have it's going to be multiplied by 15.56 and fruits it's going to be multiplied by 1.36 our protein inequality is 1.36 f plus 15.56 n must be greater than or equal to 85. Now with our next inequality, it's going to be relating to sugar. We know it needs to be greater than, oh yeah, so greater than 70, but still less than 90. So our inequality is gonna be situated within this expression here, and it's pretty much the same thing. We have 13.3 F, that's the amount of sugar in fruit, and then we have plus 4.4 n, the amount of sugar in our nuts. Now we are going to see our f and n values from each of these answer choices and then figure out, oh, how, does it fulfill both of these inequalities? Which means, oh, 3 is greater than 2. We're not going to be taking our incorrect answers here, in which 1 is less than 0. We know that's not true. So with our first answer choice we have f equals 0 and then we have n equals 16. So we're going to substitute both of these values into one of our inequalities and see if it remains true. So it cancels out with that inequality and now we are left with 15.56 times 16. So 15.56 times 16. I suggest for you all to use a calculator on this one just so we can save time. 15.56 times 16 is 248.96, which is definitely fulfills our first requirement. It is greater than or equal to 85. And now, well, we, we're not going to be using any grams of fruit whatsoever because there's zero cups of fruit. Now we do 4.04 .04 times 16. We have 64.64 grams of sugar. That does not fulfill our second inequality, meaning that answer choice A is incorrect. Now let's try answer choice B, F equals 4, and then N equals 8. So in our first inequality, we do 1.36 times 4 plus 15.56 times 8. The value for that is 129.92, which is uh, fulfilling that requirement. It is greater than or equal to 85. Now we need to put it into our bottom inequality. So 13.3 times 4 plus 4.04 .04 times 8. The answer for that is 85.52. It does indeed fulfill this inequality because we are only choosing one answer and it fulfills both inequalities. That means answer choice B is correct here. On to our next problem. In order to keep a malfunctioning satellite from falling into the earth, space agency officials decide to use a powerful rocket. At the time the rocket is attached, the satellite will be traveled at traveling at an, with an initial velocity, and for every second that the rocket fires, it will add approximately 180 meters per second to this velocity. 
In order to ensure safety on Earth, the velocity must be increased to at least 3,800 meters per second. Also, the rocket can fire for no more than 4 seconds. For the initial in in velocity of the satellite, VO, which of the following systems of inequalities best models the situation where time in seconds, where T is time in seconds after the first rocket is fired? After the rocket is first fired. So, there's a lot of words here, but we can easily decipher it. First off, this one question, that one sentence, determines one of our inequalities. The rocket can fire for no more than four seconds. That means um, the time is going to be less than or equal to four. We cannot be firing for over four seconds. So that is included in answer choice A and answer choice C. So we can get rid of answer choice B and D immediately. Now we need to see that it is. we have our initial velocity that is prime y-intercept. And in these inequalities, we can still have y-intercepts and slopes. So that's important. We have our initial, uh, we have our initial velocity, and then we're going to be adding on our slope, which is 180 meters per second. Per second happening every one of these seconds. It's happening multiple times. So that means we need to have adding our 180t. And see here, at least 3,800, at least is our greater than or equal to, so it must be greater than or equal to 3,800. Answer choice A has all of these requirements, so it is correct. On to our third question here. The change machine at an arcade give change in the form of 25 cent coins and $1 bills. The manager of the arcade would like at least $50 worth of quarters and $100 worth of $1 bills in the machine at all times. Also, the manager does not allow for more than $500 in the machine at any time. What is the maximum number of quarters the manager would allow in the change machine? So, we need at least 100, of course we need at least $100 worth of the $1 bills and we need at least $50 worth of quarters, but we're gonna be having as many quarters as possible until we reach that $500 or once we subtract the $100 we can see our quarters needed is just, it needs to be less than or equal to $400 worth of quarters. And of course, a quarter is 0 0.25 of a dollar. So, where Q represents the number of quarters, this represents the number of values, that expression right there. And in order to find how many quarters we need, we need to divide by 0 0.25 on each side, meaning once we divide by 1 fourth, we just multiply by 4. So it's 400 times 4. The maximum number of quarters the manager would allow in the change machine is 1,600. On to our last question here. Doreen is traveling abroad with a $25 calling card. The rate to call her boyfriend in Japan is 0 0.19 well, 19 cents per minute. The rate to call our family in Turkey is 12 cents per minute. Doreen wants to spend at least 30 minutes calling her family in Turkey. Which of the following systems of inequality best represents the relationship between J, number of minutes Doreen calls Japan, and T, the number of minutes Doreen calls Turkey. So, she only has $25. That means we cannot exceed this amount. So, it is a hidden inequality. Our cost needs to be less than or equal to our 25. It cannot exceed $25, meaning that answer choice B and answer choice D are automatically incorrect. And then, of course, the number of minutes that Doreen calls Turkey needs to be at least 30. So at least is greater than or equal to 30. So that matches answer choice C. Answer choice C is correct here. We just set up that inequality. So we got that answer correct. Our linear inequality word problems advanced. Question number one was one of the more hard ones we've seen. If you have any questions relating to these, make sure to leave them in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and we'll tackle our next skill tomorrow. Goodbye.